Hello everyone and welcome to our special show with our special guest. And this is none other than one and only Nima Das. Thank you. Welcome ma'am. So, we are going to ask you mainly about your new movie, about Tora's husband. But before that, we would like to know the other side of you apart from your profession, like your preferences and what keeps you motivated. What is the mantra of your life? What is the mantra if, of my life? Apart from like if I look at my life last few years, I think I'm mostly occupied with my films, but uh, last year I have realized that I need to give more time to myself yeah. and I realized that uh, I need to balance my physical mental, emotional and spiritual health and then only I can create yes. uh, because if my one health is, if there is no balance then I am suffering yeah. myself as well as what I am creating yes. and that's the reason I'm, I like to read I like to do yoga, yeah. meditation, then I like to travel and I'm also somehow um, towards spirituality. Yes. Yes. So, uh, this year actually I thought, I mean I'll give more time to myself but uh, I couldn't manage it but I'm hopeful that next year. Uh, I'll travel more, I'll be with people more and there are a lot of things uh, when I am mostly in the villages, yeah. I notice that uh, especially children, women, they need special care yes. and love and we are also planning some kind of workshops and uh, we can also, I'm planning to invite people who can teach them different things, different skills. Uh, I feel like that is very important and uh, recently we also distributed few uh, like kind of different kind of uh, sports yeah. uh, instruments and all, uh, musical also and uh, I feel really bad that you know just like if you for example like badminton yeah. if you go to a village it is all it is still a sports for the privileged yeah, that's only one okay. the so this kind of things I notice yeah. so I'm talking to you all these things because I myself I cannot do much so there should be community you yeah. know if someone is listening to me yeah. They can also do something in their places, but especially I feel like if I, I live in Choigaon. So when I look at Choigaon, there are n number of villages yes. nearby. So mostly if something, some workshops are going on, it is mainly in the town. Yeah. So there are such people and children, they cannot even come and, you take know, part. take part. So, how we can go to villages and, uh, you know, I mean... You can teach and them and you can learn as yes, well. Yes, yes. So, I think that is very important yes, and yes. it it will work for long run, yeah, yeah. you know. And I feel like if we together can do such things, then in 10 years we will see the differences. Obviously, we yes. are here for just to offer the next generation. Yeah, and no? also like I have seen that the children especially yeah. nowadays when they are eating they need mm. to uh, look at the mobile. Yeah. They are so much like all the time they are busy. Then we also have children. You, uh, When we are talking about Tura's husband, there are yeah. two lovely chil like children and they are from my family. Yeah. And uh, I see them and then I feel really sad that most of the time they want to, you know, busy with the mobile, yeah. that world and if it is very hard like they, they just to convince them, yes, yes. you know, that oh this is bad, it will affect your health, 
it is very difficult they have built so, a right habit. but so recently i think that if you tell them they will not understand better will be how you can involve them doing some other activities yes you know if they are doing activities other activities mm -hmm. that way at least you can probably divert their minds yes. I, i think that is the best way so we are doing uh, like recently still it's going on a workshop like And singing workshop is going on yeah. so i can see how they are coming yeah. at least the two hours they are not looking at the mobile yes you yes, understand yes. so such way in a village if there will be more different kind of activities uh, they will enjoy and also i mean it will also help the community as a whole they should be together they yes. should play together sing together it also helps as a community i think sure, and sure. building their character and uh, you know their self development so a lot of other things beautiful this is beautiful thank you it's it's all about it just i'm sharing it because we have done it's not mistake mm -hmm. i mean like we have i have personally gone through many ups and downs yeah. you know uh, many uh, like nowadays i don't regret but there was a time i used to regret also yes, yes, I, i thought oh i did a mistake you know knowingly unknowingly if uh, your where the uh, like you are living the environment everything matters and you do yes. things you know knowingly unknowingly later on you regret So nowadays, I feel like uh, that is also useless feeling. That Regret is not even is, an option. <laughs> right. So better like uh, just keep moving. Yeah. Whatever. If from inside, if I don't feel good doing something, uh, better than regretting not to do that probably yeah. next time. And especially the new generation and children, children and youth, I think they need lot of support and yes, love. Yes. Yeah, do you need also love and support? <laughs> we all, all do. We all do, and I think we need to spread it as well. You yes, know, we are here to offer love, right, nothing else. Right, right. I I also try to do that in my movies. Yes, and in Tora's husband also there are a number of things. So there is a dialogue that um, it's not that we have one world. Yeah, actually, each of us having. our own world different world different so but there also we need to connect with each other yes you know and uh, that is what i am trying and uh, with the help of we need that kind yeah. of uh, power and that kind of connection yeah and uh, then we can grow together i think yeah. yes So tell me about your journey. Like, how? What? What was the thing that brought you to the world of cinema? That I'm gonna do this only. It was quite spontaneous because okay. I I come from a place, my village. My father is no more, mm. so uh, like academic background, and my mother she used to run a press, printing press, and the bookstore. My father is a founder, headmaster of. Uh, so, uh, like uh, Sampong Nagar Girls School yeah. yes. uh, at Choi Gaon, so I'm coming from that background, and it's like a village, mm. a small village, and uh, so for me, like I never thought about making movies. I ne never dreamt about. like yeah. making movies but when i was looking for acting job yeah. so i was i was always interested in acting. dance acting so that kind of platform i had atmosphere yeah. in my village college school and after my uh, after i finished my education so i went to mumbai yeah. I was looking for acting job, and that time only I got opportunity to watch world cinema, yeah. and spontaneously I fall in love with cinema. world cinema, and yeah. it just came to my mind. Although I didn't know about technicalities, mm -hmm. but I somehow uh, I knew that 
uh, somehow I would be able to tell stories. That yes. was my first thought. And slowly I learned, I bought a camera, then it just happened, you know. I like that visual power hmm. and exactly. that, you know, it's a tool how you can create your own world, yeah. you know, what you want to say yeah. and visually, right. And that is what I like the most, the, the way I said that, oh, a lot of probably ups and downs yes. in life and different experiences, uh, my fear, my, you know, uh, anything yeah. like uh, I experience and my regrets probably. Sometimes you have something, uh, some uh, things you feel like, oh, I could have talked that, but I couldn't at that moment. Yeah. But this all things you can put in a film. Yeah, exactly. Right? You can create a, a character from your real life and your imagination, yes. no? The way I want to see someone. So it's very interesting for me. It always intrigued me. And I knew that this is what I want to do. And that's how I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> like for you, what is it? Like it's uh, cinema or life? But you know what reflects Cinema about? and life, it's just both. Goes hand in hand. Yes, yes. Yeah. Till now, <laughs> you never know, yeah. you know, so like it's a journey. What? Like cinema inspiring life or life inspiring cinema? I think both because uh, life, some in life, sometimes you don't have control, yeah. you know. In cinema, I have much more control, yes. you know, what I'm creating, somehow I have that control. But uh, when I am living my life, then um, I have quite less control. Control in the sense is not that I want to control, but yeah. uh, somehow you have to give respect and you have to, you know, you cannot force someone's yes. thoughts or if you are a family also, you know, exactly. it is forget about with friends and like with like how you are, whatever uh, you are, what kind of role you are playing outside, but uh, with your siblings, yes. with your parents also you actually don't have control. They have uh, different thoughts. I have different thoughts. But in cinema, you know, there can be a brother and sister. Yes. I can create, oh, I want to see, you know, yes, yes, between exactly. them, this kind of relationship, that, that control I have in cinema. Yeah. You know, but in real life, you, it's very hard. Like you, you really cannot, Convinced, I have seen with my father, yes. with my brothers, my mother, you know. Then I have realized, oh, they have different thought process and world, but still we connected. Yes. Uh, yes. That's why we have people. So my next question in, will be like in most of your movies, the main, the protagonist or the main character, there seem to be women. So Tora's husband will be a different one or the same? Tora's husband, yes. Uh, when you look at the name, then it looks like, okay, who is important? Yeah. Uh, presence in the film, you will see more Tura's husband. Okay. But I feel like for me, Tura is equally important. Yes, obviously. Uh, so, I don't want to reveal much, but <laughs> uh, it is a balance, I feel like for me, uh, both the characters I want to see f uh, like from my side uh, both of their perspectives yeah. you know just to just putting it like in front of you yeah. in front of audience both of their perspective it's not like uh, I'm, I, I think I'm being less judgmental yes. and I just observed how I observe uh, like a man's life a female's life, uh, being a husband, being a wife. So what I have seen, you know, uh, in different, it is, it, it, if I, someone was asking me like, uh, when a character, if it is Tora, mm -hmm. then is it, is that character you, you know, it is my reflection. It's like, if it is Tora, so Tora is a reflection of 
probably many women. Yes, exactly. You got it. Like if you uh, look at Dhunu, yes, uh, like village rockers, then Dhunu is like maybe I have seen like. In ten girls. Yes, yes. Thunu as a part of together. Me. Has yes, part of me. right, right. That's how I look at it. And even Abhijit, yeah. uh, who is playing the main protagonist, the yes. uh, um, husband. So th- yesterday only someone was asking me, yes. is he the real? Like, is it? It's like an autobiography. I said no. Yeah, definitely his real life's also part of it. Definitely is there. Yes. His mannerism. Yes, sir, and that heart is there, but still, he is, you know, lot of men together. Yes, I mean, yes. so that's interesting for me, and that's how it become. You know, I think that's the magic for me. So, uh, how much and why do you think a film, a movie that uh, showcases a men's perspective, can be different than a film that uh, showcases a women's perspective? Definitely, it will be different, right? It is all about you. If it is a male or female, I for me it doesn't matter. So it varies from men to men. I mean, person to person. Yeah, of course, person to person. Okay. No, there are and as a female, I mean, you are different. I am yes. different, right? Your thinking is different. Your ideology is different. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, man, woman. Definitely, it's person to. It's quite subjective, I think. Okay. How I look at man is yeah. different. How you look at man. Yes. So, you know, Assam has a very wide history of political and social movements, and even the first Assamese film was a political one, which was Joy Moti. So we do not see. Uh, I mean, if you compare it to other regional films, right, right, we do not right, see right, yeah. much of the political movements in Assamese movies. What do you think about it? And will you yeah, be planning actually, to make Yeah, actually, we need any? more movies like that. And even I would love to make one. Yeah. Not one. You are planning I, to. I am not planning to. I am because I am quite intuitive when choosing the stories. Yes. And I don't just wait. I am mostly from Flying River Films, is our yeah. production house. When I am making movies from my production house, then I am quite intuitive. I just take the camera if it's something coming to my mind. Yeah. Okay, this story I want to say. Then I just start shooting. Yeah. And if I am doing such films, you are talking about based on some political movement yes. or anything. Uh, from our history, yeah. and it can be imagination also connected to our history. Then definitely, I will need uh, more money yeah. and uh, proper plan. Yes. You know, it needs uh, that kind of efforts to make. So that's the reason now from village rockers, uh, then Antadristi, Bulbul can sing, and Turas has been now. So mostly, it's more like a film school for me. Yeah. And I feel like I'm learning. Yeah. And recently, I did a film in Melbourne. It's called yeah. My Melbourne. So there, I worked with Australian cast and crew. So yeah. that was different. How was that? It was really good, amazing. Yeah. Because and then I also realized how being uh, being with a team, yes. you know, like-minded team, it yes. really enhances and helps. Yeah. So if I want to make this kind of cinema. Then definitely we have to plan accordingly. Yeah. You know, it needs the, the canvas is bigger, but it also not necessary. Sometimes you can do in a very limited resources also. But uh, so many stories around me, and this I have done my fifth film, yes. feature film, and that area only Choi Gaon. Yes. Okay, yes. because I see so many stories. But I need to look at the horizon now. I think uh, the bigger picture, mm-hmm. and I hope I I'll make something in future. Sure, we're Thank hopeful. <laughs> and uh, tell us anything. I mean, anything that you want to share about Tora's husband. And the people are loving. They are going crazy after Tora's husband. So please tell us something. Tora's husband is quite a difficult film for me. Okay. It is the most. Challenging film for me because after three months of lockdown, we st- I started that film, 
and uh, and the decision also was quite challenging okay. you know and uh, and every lockdown thought process changed okay. i lost my father then there are a number of things happened yeah, sorry to hear that. and and also i mean uh, every time uh, there was another lockdown or something we stopped shooting so every time we like again we started then there was uh, that uh, the consistency that fear you know the is it the most challenge challenging movie for you it is very challenging i i was i mean that's the reason in the beginning i was saying about the balance of physical mental emotional yes. and spiritual health because i suddenly had a frozen shoulder i suddenly realized i cannot move my hand mm. there is a very bad headache actually yes. uh, there is a someone asked me yesterday again that uh, the main character he he is having a headache mm -hmm. you know yes. in the film sometimes his head is i know paining and then that came from me Okay. I was in real life I was suffering actually and yes, yes. out of nowhere I was having a headache and this frozen shoulder lot of things happened yes so uh, it's the most challenging film yeah. but I'm glad that uh, we had a small crew there are a lot of uh, in the beginning that's uh, like I started with my family yes. and neighbors but uh, I think you will see Mm, more and more people acting in this film yes. than my other film and uh, if i start talking about the challenges then i'll keep talking one or two hours yes, yes. because uh, many times i i it, there was a time i wanted to stop but yeah. then i knew that uh, mm, i mean something uh, from inside Uh, it didn't allow me to stop i yes. knew that if i stop then it, it's not going to happen and today i am glad i'm glad because this is i think uh, quite this is one of the prominent film in india which yeah. was shot during the time of pandemic in yes. a real condi real condition and situation and i feel like now also when people are watching in the theater uh they are now looking back you know one day will come yes. it's going to become history Obviously. you know new yes. generation after 10 years or 15 years also i think uh, people will look back to this film and and this film is different from my other films because they are more like a village story yes. and but this look like a modern family from a small town yes. and because we all it was a global pandemic we all suffered we know the pain you know more is that pain is kind of a universal it is yes. not the, not it is only in assam or india but it was everywhere. same everywhere uh, that's the reason whoever because this film was premiered in toronto yeah last year september mm -hmm. and it traveled to different festivals and now here when they are watching it or uh, out of country also whoever watching so they relate with the characters yes. okay and in assam when we are showing the film now here because they know our culture they know our lifestyle so uh, when last uh, like 21st we had our premiere and i was watching with the audience and they are getting the little nuances Yes. You know, there were time I wanted audience to laugh. They are laughing. There were times I wanted them to, I mean, being sad or yeah. cry. So that happened. Sometimes what happened when in a film like there is like we put subtitles. Yeah. Sometimes it's very difficult to translate. Yeah, you know, emotion. like emotion. So I was happy. because they were getting those nuances yes. so that's the reason also i'm happy and uh, yes actually uh, looking at the audience's responses it is much more than i expected yeah yeah
so i'm so happy i meeting people also i'm meeting people and so much love yes and care wishes and i'm i'm glad i am i'm grateful to them and i'm also grateful to the team yes. cast and crew you know who stick together in that difficult times without yes. them it would not be possible and yes so tora husbands husband is not no longer it's like not yours it's like ours the people's of movie of course i think it is not even tora's husband if something if uh, in village of yes. dhunu's dream is it not it's not only dhunu's dream but ours like everyone and as well as in bulbul also yeah. what she is going through yes. that's also it's not our, like uh, we we eat somewhere or others we go through you the know same. all those complications in our life so if someone relating to my characters and then i feel good you know because uh, i'm making the movie with that intention that yeah. something if the, it stays with them yeah. then i'm happy you know they watch the film and if they step out from the or, like or the and they forget but i love if it stays with them you know the pieces of something something if they carry then i like it yeah so dhunu yes. is coming again dhunu is coming again yeah. <laughs> i'm excited <laughs> you're working i'm excited it. yes i'm yeah. excited she's doing really good yeah. her ma- mother who played she also doing good there yeah. you you are going to see new faces also oh, sure. i'm so excited it's a grown up story yeah. coming of age again Uh, I'm quite interesting yes. and it's a proper sequel. <laughs> so we're excited for Village Rockstars too. Thank you. Thank you. And we are we are our wishes are always with Tora's husband for now. Just do you want to say anything to the audience? Thank you for your love. <laughs> <laughs> your people's <laughs> for more more karne, bhubeshwar karne. Your love and support matters a lot means a lot to us and uh, so i share you know yeah. like the success whatever we got through yes. our films yeah. i think I, i i share with them yes exactly yes thank you so thank you for your time thank and you please watch tora's husband <laughs> it's on your nearby theater <laughs> and thank you thank you